never been about money for me. It's been about the passion and the love of creating something special for, for you, your family, your kids and everybody else. If I had wanted uh, to make money out of it, I wouldn't have gone into a business venture in Phoenix, so it's not about money. But you are, you are a businessman. Mm. And uh, in terms of the, that consortium, do you feel that they could have come and supported you that's, so that you could have remained <laughs> a part of the club? I think the consortium, who I haven't, I do know one or two of them, but uh, I said they could have definitely probably handled things a little bit different in and, and their acknowledgement of wanting to get involved. But we're here now, it doesn't matter as far as I'm concerned. It's also about what I chose to do in my life, and I have to move on to the next chapter in my life. I've done everything I could do. I'm one person that has done so much. There are four people that are quite wealthy individuals. I'm sure four people can do as much and carry on this for me. So how, how much money have you lost? How much money have you lost? I think I've poured anywhere between eight and ten million dollars into this. Terry, when we spoke to you on Monday, you were supremely confident of hanging on to this thing. What's happened in the last few days has brought us to this point? I have made a decision that I've got my own life to sort out first. And as I said, I want to be close to the people that, love, that I love and just ambitions that I have in my life. And I think there's so much uh, speculation of things going on. I just thought, well, this could be a great time for me to exit and other people with new blood to come along. As I said, one individual doing so much for four years, I expect nothing less from four individuals now that are involved here. And I just hope they carry that baton on and do as much as I have and more. Has one thing happened or not happened in the last few days that have forced your hand on No, there's no forced hands here. It's my own decision. I just, I just woke up and I thought, you know what? This is probably the right decision to do. And it, I, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of time to run a club, let alone your own empire that you try to look after. And at the end of the day, I just think it's the right decision that I've made. And, and I certainly believe that these guys will do a good job. And I, and, I, and I spoke to the FFA about it and I said, guys, this is how I feel. And they said, well, if you feel like that, that's the best way, then let's, let's do this. I just mentioned before that the handling process could have been better. Talk to us about that. I mean, how was the process handled in your view? Well, there's a lot of people that have always speculated and wanted to get involved in the Phoenix over the past few years. A lot of you people in here have actually written about it. At the end of the day, it's a little sad that there's a lot of people that said, look, I could have done it, I could have helped. But I've done it on my own, and I've been going along on my own. And I've, you know, it's, it's a little, the only part that I feel a little sad about, all these people should have come forward a long time ago, but they didn't. And that's what I mean by that. Now, these four individuals have come along and they put their hands up, and I thought, well, this is a great time. It can enable me to get on with certain other things in my life. Now, as I said, where I feel a little bit sad about is if the, not these four, but other people over the past few years have always said, I could have done it, I could have got involved, I could have helped you. I mean, the council hasn't helped me, you know? And yet, the council wants to be part of this and do all the things and for, for Wellington, <coughs> but it didn't. I stood individually out of my own funds and went along for four years. That's Is there anyone else apart from the council who has not um, put their hand up as they could have? Well, like, as I said, there are people over the, the reporters in this room have actually commented on people that could have come forward. Names have been bantered around all the time, but at the end of the day, it's not even about that. They could have, but they didn't, but we're here now. And the great thing about it is we've got a fantastic team. And it's, it's not just Wellington's team or my team, it's actually New Zealand's team. And we should all be incredibly proud of that. What sort of state are you leaving the team in? Very good state. Uh, this thing about 17 players not being on the books and stuff like that is a lot of rubbish because three players are about to be signed up so we finish our roster. There's never been that. There's been so much wrong information that's come out of the media that it's just totally a lot of garbage. There are three players about to be signed up. and. That's it for the roster, and we're ready to go as far as the season's concerned. How do you feel about the way you've been treated in the media? I think I've been hard done by a little bit in the media, but that's my point of view. Other well, players, how does the transition work in terms of, uh, like you've got a CEO here, Nathan Greenham, and other staff, do they carry on? What exactly? Look, I think there'll be some interim transition. Obviously, it'll be up to the new consortium then to uh, make decisions about organisational structure and key management positions moving forward. But one of the discussions that Terry and I have had this week, and certainly again this morning, has been ensuring that this is just a seamless transition at the moment, so it would be illogical to lose all that intellectual property and understanding of where things are at. So, but and I think we said back in the um, over the terminal that both c coaching staff and management will, will transition across it at least as an interim measure, and that'll be up to the new board and the new um, management, uh, well, the new ownership to um, 
confirm organisational structure after that. Terry, um, you, you're making this decision today or in the last couple of days. Have yeah. there been times or a time or times in the past few months when you've also thought, hey, maybe it's time? Absolutely. <coughs> there are certain things that uh, that I just felt like is, you know, you've got to look after yourself and your family to come first. At the end of the day, I have been putting Phoenix first in my and as a priority. And I thought, wait a minute, there's a bit more than that. You're doing so much. You've done so much. So I asked myself, look, it's time to probably look at this. So it's not a decision that's just been made today. It's a decision that's been going on in my mind. And I thought it's time. It's time to be honest with yourself and, and move forward, and it's time to do the right thing. And the right thing is if there are four individuals that want to take what I've created and, and, and take it to another level, and I, I wish them all the best, then so be it. Have you thought about how you're going to feel? Sorry, Terry, have you thought about how you're going to feel on, uh, on uh, the first home game down here at the stadium? It doesn't matter what I feel. At the end of the day, I know I started it. I know I created it from a piece of paper, and I gave everybody in this room joy. And that can never be taken away. And I've created history and I feel proud of that. You have had a close personal association with the team, you know that? Like yeah, very much. You walked much. the ball onto the field with your brother's daughter in the first game. I mean, is it heartbreaking? Even though you know that this is the right time to move on, is it heartbreaking to let go of this team that you've created? I absolutely. You just touched on something which is very important. On the first game against Melbourne Victory, the ball that was put down when my little niece walked out with me, that was a touching moment because what you had there was, um, as I said earlier, it started from my brother. She, that was his daughter that put that ball down in the first game. Now, as I said, that's where it all started. Does it hurt? I guess it, of course it does, because it's always going to be close to my heart. But is it the right reason? Absolutely. I've got to do the right thing. Terry, there'll be many fans out there who will be watching us tonight. Yeah. Some will be gutted. I mean, what's your message to them? Look, I them? cannot thank the fans enough, especially the Yellow Fever, and the support right around the country. I mean, I walk from one end of the country to the other when I, when I travel. And people just come up and thank me. And uh, it is so humbling. I should be so blessed that at the end of the day that I've, that I've been able to uh, have that emotion, that feeling. And, and if I've touched a lot of people for the right reasons, I feel very, uh, very humbled about it. Terry, we've watched, the, um, <coughs> we've watched the rise and rise of Terry Serapisos. Now there are bankruptcy proceedings mm. against you. You've lost your beloved Phoenix. What's gone wrong? It's not so much that. I don't believe I'll end up bankrupt. And I feel I'll, I'll, I'll actually... Um, surprise a few people over the next week or so, but that's another issue. Uh, it's not so much I've lost the Phoenix, I've done what I think is right for the Phoenix. And sometimes in life you have to make rational decisions and what you think is right. And the game of football, especially the Phoenix, isn't about one person. It's about, I created it, yes, I'm, but at the end of the day it's time for it because one person isn't, it isn't just me. It's, it's, it's touched so many people's lives. And I feel that it's just time to do what I'm doing. So what is going to happen this next week? With what are we going to see well, this next week? Well, you'll have to wait and see, won't it? No, can, can, can I ask you say it's just time to move on? Mm -hmm. If there hadn't been these proceedings against you, financially speaking, would it still have been time, or would you have stayed on? I personally believe that um, it's been, I've, been, I've been thinking about this for a while, and probably the four gentlemen that have come out, for whatever reasons they came out, it, it's, it's time. Things happen for reasons, as we all know in life. And at the end of the day, it wasn't so much the proceedings, I, 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 that sort of stuff is all going to be put to bed next week. As far as I'm concerned, it's just about freeing up time for myself and actually spending more time, quality time, with the people that I love and then they love me. And I can share some special times at this stage of my life. And as I said, it takes a lot to run a club. Mm. Can you separate? The, the heart side of this business and mm -hmm. just look at it as a business transaction, you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. These guys have acquired the club mm -hmm. for nothing, it's a fantastic piece of business. What, what have you got to show for four years of capital investment? You, there's about 30 people in this room with respect, so at the end of the day I think a lot of the nation respects what I've done, and I've done for the right reason, so I can't ask more than that. But what about financially from a business perspective? I'm not interested in the money that I've lost, it's about that I've done the right thing for the right reason. I'm not sitting there wanting millions of dollars for a license. As far as I'm concerned, it's about, like, it gives you no more greater pleasure than when you're at the stadium and you see thousands of children doing what they're doing. It gives you no greater pleasure being able to, to put smiles on kids' faces. As far as I'm concerned, I just hope these guys carry that on. That's all I ask. Have you talked with the consortium, Terry? What input or discussions have done with you <coughs> with these four guys? I've had none. Do you want them to work with you? They, the only thing is they possibly should have approached me, but because I know, I know through, through FFA that I'd be dealing with this, I thought they're passionate about it, and I thought, well, 
They seem to be wanting to do it for the right reasons. The time will tell about all what's just happened today. There's a little bit of a changeover period, but yes. And of all the staff being there? Yes, but it's just a changeover period that's about to happen, so. Is there going to be any troubles? No, I don't think so. You can ask Lyle about that. I'm pretty comfortable. No, we've answered that earlier answer answer this morning. We'll, we'll sit down with, with Nathan and the staff mm -hmm. and I'm sure that Terry's still going to ensure there's a smooth transition as well. We'll, we'll identify any areas that might be addressed. I'm certainly not going to hold anything up. As far as I'm concerned, I've got to do the right thing for the club and the players and, and everyone else. As far as I'm concerned, it should be a smooth transition. Is there an element of relief for you today? A little bit, yeah. Because, it, because at the end of the day, I've had to carry the burden of um, you know, consistently uh, running the Phoenix, which takes a lot of energy and it's a priority. And I have other things in my life that I have to look after at the moment. And at the end of the day, I feel it's going to go into good hands. And that being the case, I feel it's the right reason to move on. You said things were going to be put to bed next week. Does that mean those proceedings aren't <coughs> going to go ahead to liquidation? Uh, uh, we'll talk about that next week. Terry, the owner is not a patron role for you. Are you wanting to accept that? Or do you I'll, think, that's a bit I'll, of I'll, think, I'll, I'll think about that after today. But yes. I feel they're honoured that they've done that, yeah. You still go to games and share them? Of course I will. I've got a box at the stadium, so yeah. Lyle, <laughs> 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 oh, was there ever a chance of, that the FFA might have to bail out the Phoenix as some clubs in Australia have sort of had to be propped up no. and fallen on hard times? No.